Well, good morning, Bobby Lee and Sadie here from Hurricane Creek Farms. Yeah, what have we been up to already today? Spending money, always spending money, right? So, dropped the kids off at school, went right on up the road to our local Helena, got uh, a little shy four tons of fertilizer, a couple thousand dollars, poof, about to be just scattered out there on the pasture, but now spring is, is bearing down on us. The weather has been favorable. We, uh, we actually had a lot of rain in the forecast the last couple days, but we missed it all. So it's still pretty good and dry. So we should be able to get over everything. We're gonna get this buggy unhooked from the truck, put it on the tractor, and get to spreading. Uh, calving, I don't know. We'll, we'll give you more of a calving update in a minute. Hey, y'all give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. But let's get some work done. Well, we probably need a little fuel before we get too far gone. So go ahead and stop right now. Fill this old grill up before we get going. This is one job where it would be nice if we had the bigger tractor, the 135 back. Uh, this tractor is certainly capable of pulling that weight. Um, it is going to pull that weight. Um, and thankfully, we're not really planning on getting on much hill ground. And if we do, it'll be as we're finishing up when we've got most of the weight off of there. Uh, yeah, that bigger tractor's nicer if you are going to be pulling a lot of weight like that, especially on the hillsides. Calving update is that there's not much of an update since the weekend we had. There's four calves born in about three hours on Saturday, another one born overnight, Saturday night into Sunday morning. So five in about an 18 hour stretch, and then none in the last 72 or so hours. Um, so that cow was one of the ones that was really upset with us. Hasn't completely cleaned out. Had a couple like that, um, you know, that take them two or three days now all of them have eventually cleaned um, up to her but like usual we got three or four that we're really watching close look like they could go any moment um, but yeah we'll just have to keep watching them um, this uh kind of tiger stripe heifer right here brayford she's one of the ones her I believe number 74 it's a big black white face cow right down there number 104 all those are possible cavers by the end of this video now what are the odds of that 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 cow literally cleaned out right there <laughs> she, she calved three days ago i hadn't cleaned that placenta i filmed her talking about how she hasn't cleaned out that placenta and then it literally falls out on the ground right there so one of two things is gonna happen. Either we're gonna have some buzzards, some vultures show up and eat that in the next couple of hours, or my wife's gonna be cussing me, the cows, and my dogs because the dogs gonna be down here eating it and then um, probably vomiting it in our living room floor. So, we shall see. That's, that's crazy. Like, I saw her, she was, you know, peeing and I was like, holy crap, I think the placenta, she shed it right there, she was urinating. Um, it's not like it's the first time she's urinated since she had that calf, but all right. Well, enough talk about retaining placentas. Um, we're about to make these cows really mad. They, uh, well, this tractor knows that, that weight's back there. Um, we kind of strategically are taking this route to the creek bottom because it's the, the least steep hill we had to go down. We'll start getting some weight off there pretty quickly. But yeah, these cows have been piled up down here more and more often looking out there at that grass. They would love nothing more than to get out there. Another week or two, another week or two. Um, we're supposed to get some rain here into the week. I'll be perfect on this fertilizer. Temperatures are remaining very mild. 
So we're getting close. Yeah, these cows are, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. I had to run them all back. I'd like to get through both these gates, then just only have to get off once, but. Haha! ha Dug it back. Y'all got plenty of good hay, and I know y'all are tired of eating it, but just a few more days. You got all spring, summer, and fall to graze. Y'all can enjoy that hay for right now. I know I'm gonna sound like a nerd, but this is just, I don't know, maybe one of the best, probably turning them out on pasture is the best day of the year, I was gonna say, but just seeing the grass growing, we got a lot of clover here, um, some fescue and orchard grass, um, and actually this right here across the creek is where we had the bulls, so they had you know, been kind of picking around and grazing until the first of the year when we turned them back with the cows um, to breed the few for fall grazing but I mean this is it this is awesome I say it all the time but you know you think we're, we're cattle farmers cattle ranchers or cattlemen whatever term you want to use but in this part of the country where we can grow grass and stock cattle at the rates we do we're really grass farmers we're taking and, and this is where I get again kind of I don't know weird kind of what's the right word kind of a hippie or just I don't know but we're taking things that the good Lord has has provided us with the, the soil the water the sunshine and we're turning it into something that, that feeds our animals that then feeds and nourishes the world, the country, whatever. So, yeah, not not to get too far off on that tangent, but yeah, turning turning grass into beef. Um, that's what we do. Turning something that's you know has no nutritional value for us into into meat, something incredibly delicious and um, you know sustaining. So, I don't know when. when hear all these like plant-based you know protein alternatives like this is like beef i know it's kind of the cliche of the joke that people have made you know within agriculture like no beef really is you know plant-based like the, the the ruminant is probably the most perfect way of turning plants into protein um, and into to high quality you know food for us so it's not just, you know, we joke about it, but it, it's real. So, anyway, that's me nerding out. Um, maybe I won't do a rant in this video because I I, I kind of did a, you know, get on my, my grass farming, you know, spiel there. So, anyway, getting excited. We get done and this little field will be over, yeah, close to half of what we'll probably be able to get over um, with this buggy full, which is all we'll be able to do today. And you probably can't really appreciate it in the video, but this was the the hill, the pathway coming down that I didn't really want to go down with all that weight pushing the tractor. We had started, so we came around the other way. Now that we've gotten probably close to half of that fertilizer off, or at least 40%, I hope we can go up and out that way. We'll see. <laughs> Oh yeah, should have never doubted that orange power. No 
don't they say nothing runs like a Kubota? I think that's what, I think that's the, the slogan the company has, right? So we got pretty much everything fertilized at home that we wanted to get fertilized. Um, we got like the pasture the cows are in right now. And then with some of our other hill ground pasture, it's, there's not a lot of fescue. Uh, it was more warm season grasses, and so we will hold off on fertilizing that just yet. They try to hit those once, uh, once we're fertilizing some of our hay ground. Uh, but moved here up the road to the farm where we keep our, our yearlings, the guilt edge farm, on the opposite end from where they are right now. Uh, this grass is going to be ready for them. I mean, probably say any day now, but especially when we get this fertilizer spread. I think it's supposed to rain into the, the week. Um, this is going to be pretty much ready for cattle. Um, I think my brother and I both decided to, to buy heifers this year, run heifers, not, not breeding heifers. Um, you know, if they end up being replacement quality, uh, you know, they may end up you know, being marketed as replacements or may even keep some. You know, that'll all be or to be determined in the fall. Um, that is one nice thing about heifers. You know, a steer only has one purpose. Um, a heifer could have multiple purposes. Um, she could, yeah, yeah just go to the feed lot and be finished out just like a steer. Um, or yeah, you may, may mark them as stove and replacement heifers. You may decide, hey, well, we got plenty of hay. We'll keep them through next winter, get them bred, sell them as bred heifers next spring. Who knows? But, but the main reason for doing that is 600 pound heifer roughly would be buying is a good bit cheaper. I'd have to look at exact marketing markets. Um, you know, a 600 pound steer, you know, an equivalent steer, um, you, know, you may pay $200 a head or so less. Um, I had to get off for just a second. Came across that culvert. Didn't want to spread fertilizer right there. Put it back in here. Look and see how much. Yeah, we still got a fair bit of fertilizer on there, so we'll be able to get over a good bit. Probably all of this north section of this farm. Uh, if we start going back the other way, but yeah, basically before we move our calves to this end of this place to uh, graze them on this, we'll uh, probably in the next week or two try to get our steers uh, loaded and hauled to town and sold because uh, we're not going to keep those to also run with those heifers. One, we just won't have room. Um, yeah, price is good right now. Pr price is too good for us to be buying steers, basically. So instead, we're gonna sell steers, sell them, the few we have. Of course, it, it won't be enough to put in a full truckload. There's gonna be, I don't know, I, I need to look at them. I may have 20 or 25 head to sell. Um, be a nice little, little boost to the uh, bank account, especially when I'm going and spending thousand dollars on fertilizer and such here and there but yeah this grass which this is some of the best grass on the place um the broom sage notwithstanding i was actually talking to my guy over at helena when i was getting this fertilized this morning it's like hey you know we had talked last fall not directly with him but with one of their other guys about y'all coming and pulling some soil samples and then uh you know getting us some lime based on what it calls for. But we still need to do that. I, I, I kind of wasn't real aggressively pushing them to do it uh, just because it is spending money. But anyway, we're gonna get the rest of this fertilizer spread. It's almost one o'clock. It's one of those days where it's working right through lunch. I had a good breakfast. We'll eat a good supper tonight. Um, we don't have to stop for lunch, we'll be okay. All right, got over here to this side of the farm. I hadn't fed these calves yet today, so we're gonna do that. Oh, I don't fall. Got just a tiny bit of fertilizer left. We'll run it out on the pasture over here. Uh, but, yeah. Eh, this isn't everybody, I don't know. Most of them are filtering. I think they're probably doing like the cows at home. They got hay, they got good hay. And if they, they wanna get back there in one of those other pastures to grass, so. Not yet. Um, also, another good time to point out talk about our good friends at Ag Gear. Um, uh, as always, go to aggearstore.com. There's a, a link in the description like always. Um, use the discount code HURRICANE 
get 10% off your order. All right, let's get them fed. All right, so seven calves short is all. They can, uh, they can still go back here into this next pasture. Right behind me, we got the gate open to hit. It's not a big one. I'm assuming that's where those other seven are. Um, that's not a big deal. Uh, it may have rained more here. You see, we got a little standing water right there, right at the gate where it naturally kind of gets watered out. We, we had big rain chances the last couple of days and had like some scattered stuff move through. We got less than a tenth total at home. And we're only like three miles to the crow flies from the house. But you know how those scattered, you know, rainstorms are. It, it could dump a half inch here and only a tenth at home. Didn't rain that much here, but a little more. I've been able to feed here without using rubber boots for a few days and uh, ruin the just little tennis shoes today. I had to be very careful. Yeah, I didn't even look at the gauge on the way in, but yeah, we got right at, got right at two tenths here. We got, not quite as fancy or as precise of a gauge here, but yeah, that was a solid two tenths. That's, yeah, more than twice what we got at home. So still not too muddy to get things done, so. Well, we were right on our prediction. Looks like two new calves. That's number 104. I know she was one of the ones that I had mentioned. Y'all go back, check, but said, we were watching uh, that one. It must be pretty fresh. I think we got a new one up here on the hill too. And there's the other one, so. See if we can get them tagged. Mama's got this one playing just a little bit hard to get, which a good mom will do. Obviously, mom still needs to clean out there, but uh, we need to grab some more tags and optimizer gel. I think we got one more tag. I don't have any more optimizer. Um, not in the side by side. We got some in the office, but other heifer over there that we've been watching. She hadn't calved yet, but I'm I'm almost certain. I'll, I'll go back and I'll confirm it when I'm editing. But I believe we said 74 and 104, and then that heifer over there. Um, were, were ones we were really up watching. So, hey, and she cleaned out while I wasn't even looking. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say 222 right here, maybe next. Made a little bag and then nice comparison there. See how, and she won't really move her tail, but a lot more swollen on the back end than say her, uh, her counterpart right there, which is another one of the heifers that is yet to calve. Um, yeah, we'll keep watching. We took the fertilizer buggy back and did kind of one of our mixed bag runs to the, uh, well, a couple of different farm stores. Got some mixed bag, got some chick feed for the baby chicks. Already dropped it off at the house because they're still in the garage. Have to show y'all them again at some point. A little update. Horse feed, cat food. Actually, that cattle mineral has been riding on the back of the truck for a few days. <laughs> some more soybean meal for the, for the steers. Need to go feed them too some horse shavings or stall bedding, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, variety of stuff. So if we can get this unloaded. Yeah, we need to go feed those steers. Oh, our, our, our adult chickens. We don't, we don't show them very often, but there's those three ladies. And there is a bird dog trying her best to behave. Sadie, Sadie, you know better. We got all that unloaded. We got one hungry steer up here. Take a look at these other boys. And one girl, we got one heifer in here. But yeah, we are just under four weeks until the first three go to the 
the process are going to be butchered. So sorry. Um, sorry for them. Luckily for them, they can't understand English, so it's not very good. So still got a little corn from this morning. They hadn't, last day or two, they just really hadn't cleaned up their feed. So we'll dump these two buckets out and then go get a couple more. Well, all right, folks, I apologize. I forgot to film an end of the video earlier this afternoon. So here we are, nine o'clock at night. Ladies just getting home from softball. But hey, this is a good shameless plug. What are y'all eating? Um, Hurricane Creek. Creek Farm beef. <laughs> Hurricane Creek Farms beef. We have burgers tonight. Perfect meal for when you're busy, you can't think of what else, thought some ground beef, get home in the ball field, grill some burgers. Uh, actually, we cooked them in the cast iron over there somewhere on our messy countertop. But, yeah, anyway, sorry about that. Um, hope you all enjoyed this video. Tune back in for us. Um, you know, cabin's going on, obviously. Um, Kimber, what do you tell them? Eat beef and God bless. Be like Kimber. Eat beef. <laughs>